Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the next episode of the Iron Oath in its 1.0 release. The first thing that some of you might notice is the fact that everyone's got some extra ability and upgrade points to take. So I think this is kind of going off the fact that there was a recent uh, patch and update to the game where they changed it to how many upgrade points and abilities you had at the very start of the game. But because we're so far in at this point, I think this is now sort of kind of catching up to itself where, where they're giving us the ability points that we were supposed to have at the start of the game. So I now just have three upgrade points to give to everyone. So I'm going to quickly assign all that to everyone very shortly. I really want to use Octavia and uh, Celestine. And to be fair, like Santana and Captain and Alistair today, I want to do some like, mm, maybe like two uh, rank two and rank three score missions just so we can see these characters a little bit more, which would be very nice. I think they've also changed the way that um, repairing works, as well as how much money we get per contract going forward, just to make it so we can't just, like, stack cash like this, you know? I think there's actually a new... If I go to the company upgrades, I feel like there is, like, a new one. Job training. You can now assign jobs to people from anywhere on the world map and not just in the sea. So we don't have to just do it at the city anymore. But I think it costs now. So it used to be that if you want to change people's jobs, you could just do it. But if you want to change people's professions going forwards, I think it's now like 500 gold. Don't quote me on that because I've only just regularly sort of like breezed through the notes. I haven't fully looked through them. We'll have a look in a bit. Let me get these people upgraded. Let me see what contracts we can find. I want to see if we can find one straight away today which can help with seeing some more people. I'll probably go to Waveston just so we can get this done, and then we'll see what we can get. Okay, that's okay. Hot five minutes. Everyone's done. Everyone's upgraded, uh, and better off than we ever did before. We might see some level 14s today. Hopefully, like I say, we'll see more of these guys. Let's get to Waverton. It'll take 19 days, but that's fine. We've still got a contract to finish off there at least, and then I can get sort of a lay of the land on what the hell's actually going on. Nice and easy. Renown point. I'm actually going to use that straight away to put into the new ability, so that'll be good. Uh, 550, that's still the same. That's still the same, unless it's just because that's a holdover from the last one. That could be a possibility. Nothing to repair, so I've got nothing to, like, prove in terms of, like, what's worth more. Do you actually need stuff? Yeah, Celestine definitely needs stuff, and I think even Octavia needs stuff to a point. So let me go, what's Master Work like? Well, why not treat my people? I need to get her an actual sword, you know? Uh, let me go down to Celestine quickly... I think I'm saying that right. There we go. I'll do. This all looks kind of fine for the time being. Storehouse raid is that a four score one? I believe it is. Let me just quickly go to the company upgrades. Go training, go job training. Yes, that'd be great. I just want to check one thing. If I go to, I mean, I think Celestine would be a theologian just knowing her background. So if I went to buh, 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 do that, cross change job zero. Now, if I went to, let's say, Octavia and went scholar yeah it's now 500 gold to change it um but you know what i think i quite like this for quick chance as well that'd be quite cool i'm gonna i'm willing to sp spend it octavia will be our scholar have we got a i've got someone who's a job for everything we need someone who's a survivalist what survivalists do defense plus three increase available incense points and camping by four reveal the locations of all fortified areas if any for camping that's quite good but i'm not sure who to give that to i might I mean i might give it to santana that's not the worst idea in the world. You know what? I am going to do that. Why not? I'll make Santana into a survivalist. I'm sure there's a song about that somewhere. Um, also, apologies if my voice sounds a bit weird. I have got like a slight throat infection to a point or just a throat illness. So I have lost my voice a teeny tiny bit. But hopefully I'm being loud enough to convey the north still. Let's look under here. One skull isn't really my vibe. Four scores is a bit much. Like, come on, bro. Just give me some two and three ones. Um, and that way I can actually show off my people. I definitely do want to do this, but I don't think this expires. Let me have a quick look. It expires in 1,917 days. I, I don't think that's much cause for concern. I will go down to, uh, what was it, turn holds? And I will hope there's some contracts there that we can do to get our slightly uh, more inexperienced people up a bit. I was trying to find the best thing to call them. It's inexperienced. Greener. Oh, I think it might be uh, coming towards us because we're getting ambushed. Um, yeah, okay, fine. I, you ask and you shall receive, I guess. I also like that they made a change to the actual shows, like, the jobs under underneath now. So if I was going into a, like, dungeon, for example, I would know I have a scholar, a survivalist, theologian, and technically two miners. This should be okay, but I am a little bit concerned just because... 
I think it's Octavia who's level 6, so she's a little bit underleveled. But everyone else should hopefully pull her through. Fingers crossed. Actually, I might just I might just make it like super, super safe and take someone who's slightly higher level just to handle it. Maybe. You know what? No, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to see what our new people can do. Enforcer, Trooper, Backstabber, Warhound. Yee. Hmm. There is a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. Okay, we start on this group first. That's probably the best chance we're going to get. Not the most damage I'd like to see, you know? Not not great. Not terrible. Just not great. Better get started. Or something or other. Uh, let's see. So, I could Blinding Strike. Which one's going to go first? You are, but I'm going to stun you anyway. And then it's you. So, if I go here and then blind you. It's a bit odd because it's at the very top of the map, so it's hard to, like, see everything. So if you go here, smash the dog. Not like that. They shouldn't be in range to get up here. You're going to be too stunned to do anything. You guys are hopefully going to get into a bit of a line so I can arc lightning the dogs, basically. I literally blindly struck you, but you still stabbed me anyway, so thanks, game. Now already on half health. So that's a, that's a great start. Like, damn, that's a lot of damage. Okay, well, start as we sort of mean to go on then, I guess. I could technically Frozen Tomb Celestine, but she's going to go soon anyway, so it should be all right. I'm a little bit worried about the Outlaw Enforcer. I guess I could Frozen Tomb him, and then it would be out for good. You know what? Let, let's do that. Hit chance 100%. Let's do that. So I'm to make sure the newbies stay alive. I know it's a, it might be a bit rough going, but I, I, I trust them. I trust them. Or at least, you know, mostly. So, you've got Dawn, so you can heal. I don't know if there's going to be much point to healing right this very second. You're too far away, then you're going to go. Then you guys are going to go. It's not a Lightning Boy's turn for a while. Like, a while. That kind of sucks. Weirdly, that trap's in a pretty good position for once. Like, normally I'd be like, oh, they, they suck at putting traps down. That's actually pretty a pretty good place to put it, to be honest. Okay, that's, that's decent enough. Let me just do that. You, you don't need to you don't need to crit the dog, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Now, can I kill this one outright? Probably not. I could cold free feet. Oh, it's a vacant right. Okay, I could just frozen to him. Screw it. Utilize what you've got, you know. Now I could arc lightning here. It would kill her. Who's next? You and then you. Is there a way to just take you out? First and foremost, probably not. We should probably rainfall Celestine. She's getting like the really shit end of the stick here, unfortunately. Well, she is a tank, she's not. She's only just level 8, so she's not getting the best of it. That could be worse. They are also getting friends, which is the next problem. That thing is going to move pretty damn sharpish. Then you're going to move. Hmm. This could actually be a little bit... This actually could be genuinely problematic. Also, these guys' health is, is not anything to mess with. Not really, anyway. To say that everyone here is a pretty high level... Well, is higher than the level that you need for this fight. It's, uh, it's not looking too fresh. Like, I trust the new... Kind of weird. That's, that's kind of weird. Right, go there because he's stunned anyway, so that's not going to matter. Can you blow his lid before he goes? Yes. Yes, but no. I also don't... It's kind of weird that, obviously, we know there's no sprites for the old... Uh, there's no, like, female version of the Ice Binder, so we just sort of got to deal with that. You're doing something a bit cray-cray anyway, way, so it doesn't really matter too much, I say so. Move him out of the way. Oh, bloody hell, are you kidding? How much health have you got? No, seriously. One? One? 
Ah, oh, you're not even joking, are you, buddy? Not ideal in any sense of the term, I'm telling you. Unless you crit, which you might. You might crit. Thank you. You heard me loud and clear. Also gone. Still stuck in the ice. Trapped under it. That's good. You'll have to see it. Also missed. Also shielded. So many birds. So little time. Ah. Yeah, that's a problem. One last problem. So, are you going to go... So, Kafta's going to be able to move. You're not going to be able to. Interestingly, that should save his bacon. I think. Can you get anywhere closer to the others? I don't think you can. No. Nay. You cannot. So, how's everyone doing in terms of health? Captain's kind of okay. Santana will be alright. Alistair's probably going to have to live with it, to be quite honest. It's all a bit all over the place. I'm mostly worried about Celestine, honestly. Like, it is a bit wild what we're actually doing to her. Okay, next up. So you're gonna blow you're gonna blow up anyway, so nobody cares about you. You will get dealt with when Santana comes out to play, eh? Literally. Ooh, trying to handle these new kids on the block. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to, I think. But I think we will get there. We will get there. It's just training. I think this is gonna be a training for Rooks episode more than anything. You're taunted, that's fair enough. You're gonna blow up, so that's cool. Oh, here come the crits and Celestine. She believes. You're gonna hit a rock, you're an idiot. You're fine as you are. Oh, very close to killing it. Great blocking. Fantastic. He's gonna keep full drawing a rock, and weirdly, that's gonna be our lifesaver. I don't know why he's doing it, but I'm not gonna complain. You won't, you won't hear it from me. You really won't. So, really, I should just start healing, because he's just going to blow him up anyway. So that's fine. Hmm. Still not dead. You're back in the fight. Good. You love to see it. Now, if you stand about here... Oh, that won't... I'm going to have to use both, aren't I? That's fine. That'll be a kill for our Octavia. You're putting down a million traps everywhere, that's fine. I think you're eventually going to come out of your cage soon. Alistair showing how, how it works. Go, 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 go. Go, just go, just go, go. Let's just make sure it definitely hits. And he's out. Good work. And now you should just be able to... Cutting words? Right, you two deal with that. You're going to miss anyway. Nobody cares. Let's just utilize this. Ooh, so close. God, you really want to use that ability, don't you? You love full draw. He loves full draw. How about you, uh, how about you stop doing that? Thank you. Sustain? Nice. Get some revenge. You'll have to see it. Okay. Little touch and go from the newer people, but to be expected to say that this is a level 8 ambush. And even though, and, and as we are aware with this game, even when we're fighting with level 8 characters at a level 8 ambush, it's still not great. So the fact that everyone survived, I'm actually pretty happy with. Also, a lot of them got a lot of XP. Because, uh, well, one thing, Octavia's only level 6, so she did pretty well for a level 6 character. And also we got that, so I'll take it. I would say good job, people. But that was just kind of a trial run to see how the guys go. Let's have a look at your armor. So what have you got? you got Epic Light. So rare medium probably wouldn't be terrible. It's not a terrible idea. Medium, do I do I do that with... Um, where's that boy? Albert, what do you do? Masterwork medium. So medium would work. 
Uh, Celestine, what have you got? Hmm. Let's go... You're going to be a big tanky person anyway, so let's go with that. And then that's Masterwork Light, so let's go with that. That should be a teeny tiny bit better. Right, let's get to turn old. Oh, man, the game is probably... What is this? What is this? Level, like a level 5 contract. I don't think I've even seen one before. The fact also, yeah, the, the coinage has definitely changed. Because five, 5 school contract, 925 coins. So that has, like, reorientated itself a bit. That's fine, though. Like, once again, we're in a pretty good money situation, to be fair. It's, like, the last thing I do need to worry about. I'm going to keep hold of these because apparently scrap is now very important. And it will help with our, like, repairs. Oh, wow. That is a lot more. Let me have a look at this new, uh, like, repairing system to see how it works. Oh, yeah, so repair, repair, repair. So certain materials will help you repair. Not that much thing, many things are repair, so I can go repair that. That's fine. If I went to, like, I don't know, is there anything here which can be repaired with scrap? Repaired with six, I've got four. God, it takes ten scrap to repair a guitar. Are you playing me? I think you're playing me, game. Fourteen? Bloody hell, bro. Eight. Yeah, okay, fine. In that case, I guess we'll just repair all that for the time being. I guess I'm keeping hold of scrap going forward. I guess that's just a thing now. Um, annoyingly, there are no swords again, so I can't upgrade Celestine's sword right now. I suppose you could share with, like, Rayner for the time being. Maybe. I'm definitely not taking this. Like, I want to get our Rooks trained up. I don't want to get him killed. Like, I've almost almost done that in this first episode already. Let's get resting here. Everyone's fine, apparently. Let's, have, let's buy everyone around, then. That's a bit better. I guess I'm going to go walk around and find some contracts that our Rooks can do. This is a Rook training day. Well, probably a year, depending on how much time passes. Meanwhile, this area is rife with deer right now, and the weather's not bad either. You decide to take a few people out and hunt some fresh game for dinner. It's only an hour before Mad Jack spots some deer, spore, and you take up a trail. Quiet now, we're getting close. There's a book there, up ahead. You just make it out between those two trees. Hey, Celestine, I want you to make this kill. Let's move a bit closer, just you and me. As you say, our monk. You move in a broad circle around the grazing buck until you have a clear shot and a small height advantage. You speak in a whisper now. We won't get a better look at this, Celestine. Go down on one knee and knock an arrow. Shouldn't it really be Mad Jack who's knocking an arrow, not Celestine? I mean, it's fine either way, but... Celestine does as you say, but clearly a little bit nervous about the task. I mean, she's a very sword person. Maybe she, like, fired her sword with the bow. That might work. You need to grip the bow here and draw, but don't release. The fletching should be near your cheek, but not touching. Now exhale and focus on the deer. Steady. Aim for the animal's center mass. The deer raises its head. It's looking in your direction. Remember, when your target is moving, your shot must lead it slightly. And the deer bolts, but Celestine releases in the same moment and hits her target square in the breast. Wow, what a shot! I was worried my grumbling stomach was going to give us away. The buck doesn't go down at once, but attempts to stagger away. He doesn't get far, and you're able to give him a merciful death a few minutes later. We'll eat well tonight. I don't think I could have done much better myself. Not to, like, play it down to Celestine, but Mad Jack, you could have killed, like, six deer in one turn. So, and also you will regain some health by just shooting it. So, don't play yourself down, Mad Jack. Thanks for those tips, our monk. Couldn't have done it without you. She gains five to... Oh! There are now events where we can gain, like, attributes. Is that new? Is that a new thing? Cool. Everyone returns to camp in high spirits, eager to fill their bellies with spit-roasted venison. I do love venison. And I do love relationship increases. Very good. Ah. How nice. And it, it makes it feel like the group is actually a proper cohesive group of real people. Or like, you know, as real as you can get instead of just like a group of adventurers we've randomly thrown together, you know? So any events like that, I'm all here for. Okay, I'll just put a bit of a investment down in Solus. You'll notice our money is getting pissed through pretty quickly. But now Celestine is a little bit better off because now she's got the Brigandine, which is epic heavy. And also a Tyrosine Scimitar, which puts her crit chance and accuracy up by quite a bit. And since she just got accuracy from that event, I'd say that's pretty good going. We are just patrolling for Void Spawn. We're going over to Tier. There is only one point of interest. I, I do remember there used to be more, so I don't know if they've also updated the uh, ones to that. But let's go deal with this and hopefully see our Rooks do a bit more damage. Okay, everyone, basically all the Rooks are in except Caitlyn's in instead of Kafton because Kafton was weirdly fatigued. I don't actually know why. Um, and also, I can't keep Caitlyn away from killing demons. She just literally, she saw them and she just beelined into the combat. So, can't do anything about it, my hands are tied. So let's get everyone situated. 
Okay, well, I, did, I was going to do quite a lot of waiting because we are, like, massively out of range. But I guess it'd be rude not to do this, so... Don't mind if I do. It's, it's a star, at least. So you're going to protect that. You're going to just, like, buff each other, right? Okay. You're both just blasting each other in the corner. That's fine, I guess. That is so much damage, bro. You want to chill out? Literally. <laughs> anyway, I need to start healing soon. Uh, can I? I think I can stun these guys, right? Yeah, I can. I mean, it was also static charge, so I was going to stun it anyway. Uh, go stand there and heal yourself. That way you can surround it and also take some in there. Now, you've got Sweeping Spear, right? So if you stood here, could you sweep them both? Yeah. Does mean that they're probably going to get the old advantage over. Well, unless I go and do this with my guitar and hands. You love to see it. And now if I go over here. Okay, Octavia. Oh, it's just a bit too out. Well, you know what? That's fine. If you're taking one off the board. Oh, you could have killed it because you crit it. Shame. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, tried to, like, Zerg rush me, did you? It's not quite Zerg rushing. That's a lot of damage. There is... Okay, everything's a bit everywhere right now. Give me a sec to figure this out. So you're all stunned anyway. Nobody cares. Can I sweep and spear these two? Hell yeah, I can. You're going to be too far away anyway because you usually wait. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I could probably move you guys out. I just realized I pulled Trevor in instead of... Instead of uh, Alistair, I just grabbed the closest one. Well, okay, fine. Whatever. It's fine. We'll see him again. Don't you worry about it. Now, it's, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's actually Alistair who's got the, the arc lightning but doesn't hurt his friends. Whereas uh, Trevor's just sort of like, fuck it, we ball. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful with how I do this. What if I stand right here? Is it still 50%? 38. Bro. Fine. Do it this way. Uh, the only problem now is I'm a little bit worried about Octavia. Can I heal her from there? I can. So if you want to come back a little bit, and then if you want to just kill the corrupted Null Beast, let's just get rid of it. Octavia's getting loads of kills. This is great. Alright, they wait anyway, so I'm not too worried about them at this second. A little bit worried about Santana is a little bit, a little bit injured. Um, let me see if, how close am I to being able to heal him? Can I heal him from here? Can't. I cannot. Um, you've just become... Ah! Caitlyn's now on their side. That's a problem. Because her turn is close. She might kill Santana. Caitlyn! Caitlyn, don't you do it. I guess now would not be a bad time to technically blast her out of this doldrum. You've become the very thing that you, you hate. Don't do it. It's not a good look, is it? Nope. Not a good look. Okay, so you're going to get... Bloody hell. Right, hang on. Trying to, like, extract Santana out of the damage. You could stun it. I think it won't go through the shield, though. So if I get here and renew Melody yourself, and hopefully she'll snap out of it soon. This is a messy battlefield. This is a very messy battlefield. That much I'll say. And also, these guys are not exactly uh, weak by any means. Who's next? You're next, and then you're next. Can I actually... Hmm. I guess we'll see. Hang on. Let's have a look. I just need to stop one of them for the time being. God, messy. I can't even trust Caitlyn because she's probably just going to... Oh, saying that, she's off the old uh, mark. So that must, that must mean that she got hit. I, I must assume that she got hit at some point. 
Uh, if I get here, can I heal? Are you too far away? I think you're too far away. Let's just stand here. Okay, this is still recoverable, but everyone is a little bit banged up. Even doing that's not really doing as many favors. What about sweeping spear here? Okay, kinda. Right, that'll kill that one. Let's just work on that. You know what? If you want to heal, just heal. Do that. I don't mind. You're going to get stunned anyway. You're going to get blown up. You're going to do some damage, but not enough. Not yet. Not just yet. We're still in it. You're gone. You're still trapped. Let the healing begin. Uh, I need to... Can I heal from there? We need to get our range up. We really do. I know you said you're going to go for like a melee person. But it is also nice to have a bit of side healing as well. Just for times like these, you know. Right, so I'll do. Line that one up to die. As such. There we go. I feel like even though he might have um, made the combats lesser, so one one combat instead of two, I feel like they might have buffed the uh, ov the overall combat for this singular one, you know? So that way, whilst there's one less combat, the actual combat itself is more challenging. I think that's probably the case. Also, we are utilizing lower level people, which is fine, which is absolutely fine, because we are obviously... It feels like we're back to what we were on like beforehand which is you know it's to be expected when we're trying to train new people and that's perfectly okay it's to be expected right i think you're gonna come out of there next turn so let me wait oh apparently i've got to wait anyway we wait we wait pop out thank you you're gonna wait anyway because you can't move an attack on the same turn which is fine if i recall from the old uh, codex and i'm gonna blast you and I'm going to walk around here, flank you, and then sweep your spear and kill you. Oh, not quite. All right, so Tana's going to come and finish you off. There you go. And everybody survived, and Caitlyn didn't kill any of her friends accidentally. you love to see it. Uh, rare heavy, that's cool. Scroll shield starts combat with a damage shield. That's pretty decent. More scrap. Yeah, I'm noticing that scrap is appearing a lot more often. So there is that. Oh, no, you know what? I clicked Trevor because he was so close to leveling up, and I couldn't. I didn't want to miss that. And uh, so I didn't. And now here we go. Trevor's level 10. To be fair, Trevor was also level 9 at the same time as Alistair. I always think Trevor's, like, level 13, like the rest of them. But he isn't just yet. But he's he's getting there. On the plus side, I can now fully conduit to go Path to the Storm. Strikes all cells within range along the target path. First target hits full damage, with each subsequent target taking 25% less. Go for it. Overload. Eh, I'm, I'm okay with that. And then I will go Arc Lightning and go Storm Pulse. Fabulous. And then let's get your crit up to 15. Let's get your evasion up a little bit. And then let's get your power up. Still got 7. Damn. Health? Yeah. Let's keep working on that. Santana leveled up as well. Good job. Let's get your power up to almost 100. I'll take it. Healing up to 46.5. And I'll start working on health. When we get to Renewing Melody, we'll go to Power Chords. And then go Smashing Tune. Sure. That should be fine. Octavia's almost level 6. 7. Celestine's on the way to level 9. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get to tier. Let's see what is waiting for us there. Not quite a rhyme. Okay, not much going on in tier either. There's a few, like, regular bumbling things. So I guess I'm going to quickly blast through these. I mean, they're level 1, so I'm not really expecting much from them. But if we do end up getting into a fight where I can bring in the newer people, I will. I just want to get them as much limelight as possible in this episode. I think this is what this is going to mostly be. Just getting to see, like, Octavia and Celestine and seeing more of, like, Captain and seeing more of Santana when he's not getting stabbed by Caitlyn and so on. So let's go with that. Probably not going to do this today. I might do one contract where we have some of the golden oldies in. I mean, I say I call it the golden oldies. I mean, it's getting to that point. We're looking at uh, old Trevor's hair. Although I don't think everyone's close to his age other than him. Raina's 32. Ah, that's my age. That's nice. Raina's still got her full hair color. So that's good. Once again, you don't go gray fully at 40. Only a little bit. Unless you're super unlucky. 
Okay, so on our way to Aeros, which is basically where we've got to go procure something. Our scouts are pointing some void spawn wandering and planes nearby. Our monk will likely be spotted unless we change course, which could take some time. If you want my opinion, though, I say we ride over and slaughter them. Santana, I'm with Alaric on this one. Those foul creatures need to be dealt with. You son of a bitch, I'm in. And also, the citizens of Tear like us a lot more. Oh, it's a one skull one. Right, I'm definitely bringing in the new people then. Oh, I like that we get to see them a lot more. This is nice. Okay, now that most of everyone else is over level 10, I mean, what's your... How much XP do you need? 180. I don't think you'll level up, no. I don't think you'll level up for that one. Uh, let's... In that case, fine, Alistair. Let's do it. Let's just try and get everyone over into the double digit mark, you know? Easier said than done. Go on, how many enemies? And what's the damage? I feel like reinforcements have become less of a thing, which is kind of nice. I feel like they've just started... I think one of the update um, notes was also that they just started, like... Instead of there being reinforcements, they're trying to put, like, more people into the fight at the very start, but then upgrading some of them to be, like, veteran enemies or elite enemies instead, just to, like, offset the fact that there's more, but then there's going to be less reinforcements and so on and so forth. It's all about balance, and I think they're just trying to figure out that balance that works for everyone right now, which, to be fair, they're doing a lot of work in the background, so I commend the developers for continuing to support and change and update the game for everything that we find with it. So, if you're listening still, thanks. Anyway, let's get in. Enough being nice about stuff, let's go punch shit. Yep, Captain's into it. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Basically dead. Uh, let's go here and block up. And if we go here, we could probably... That's 50%, so actually if I go here instead, I can finish this one off and then start on that one. God, Octavia's getting loads of kills. I mean, it's great. She's getting loads of kills. That ain't cool, but fine. Uh, I say no to your darkness pillar, and I put some rainfall on there. I cast, bla bla I cast Bless the Rains Now in Africa. You really just want to kill Captain, don't you? I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Slam. There we go. Right, that's got a lot of health, but if you go and Blinding Strike it, it might not be too bad. Right, Captain, now that that's kind of dealt with, you could probably just go and smash this one instead. God, he's such a damage dealer. Look at him go. That's a lot of movement. Like, bro, that's a lot of movement. Okay, well. I say no to that. Let me take away your flanking ability. Bloody hell. Taking some damage. Well, at least you're taking it and not some of the more spongier people, let's say. Because everyone else is a little bit spongier. If, you're, if there's anyone who's going to take it, fortunately it's yourself in this case. That's fine. I can I can live with that. Can you get ooh careful careful as you go around. Our kids go slap and destroy. Good job, Santana. Write a song about that later. You're sleeping on the job anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Great crit from Celestine. Good job. How far can you move, you disgusting creature? Okay. That's fine. I'll tell you what. Artic Armor up. Become a blocker. Oh, it doesn't matter. You just dodged it anyway. Great stuff. Uh, Santana, finish your job, please. I like this little group. It's good. It's going well. Maybe less of that, but it's going well otherwise. Right. In the ice pit you go. You may come out when you have repented, sinner. Not that you will ever repent. Well, actually, technically you will repent, and it's going to be very disgusting when you do it. You all know what I'm talking about. He's going to explode. Just belt it. Literally belt it. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're kind of just waiting now. I don't have an ability. I don't have the ability to make it explode, so... Yeah. That's kind of like the, uh, the fire trap. Repent! Sinner! See ya. Okay, there you go. Fine. Done. Not a problem. I quite like how we're getting, like, lo loads of armor now. Uh, Demon's Blood, I mean, I, I guess I'll take it. No scrap, though. Right, Aeros, we go. I don't expect to be to any of the fights on the way to Aeros, so that'll be fine. We'll go there. 
grab what we need to get. I'll see if there's any more contracts here. I kind of doubt it, but I guess we can have a quick gander. Yes, yes, hand over the payment. That's probably more than what we're actually getting paying. <laughs> no. Not right now. What's the apparel? 47 is not bad. Low demand, low demand. Man, the prices suck here. What I will do is, I'll grab this round shield, and I'll give that to Celestine. A little bit better now, in terms of defense, to say that it was, what, six? Yeah, it was six. Ten's a bit better. What's, uh, in comparison, what's Reyna's? 33, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, she does have, like, a tower shield, though. So it's kind of valid as to why that's a thing. Um, I don't need to sell anything else here. No one is resting, which is really good. I'll quickly buy a round, because I always like to keep everyone in high spirits. And then we'll get on back to tier. And then I need to tend to Solus. Solus, great. And then maybe I'll see if I can find a contract for our higher level people, you know? Just so I can get them to level 40 in preparation to raid the Black Skull storehouse. So I don't want to wait too long before we go and do it, you know? Pretty straightforward, we're here now, I got delivered, so we're back over 10 grand, we are sort of like on that mark as it were, I suppose I did spend a lot of money on upgrading people's stuff, which is fine, can I sell this stuff finally? Thank you. Man, pristine heavy, 1440, what do you have, medium, you have rare heavy, but it is also, I mean, I guess, what's that, 30, he says 22, weapon power is good though, hmm, hmm, what, does anyone else use heavy? You do, but you've already got Pristine Heavy, so there's not really much I can do about it. And nobody else uses Heavy. Either... Oh, actually, technically, uh, oh, Celestine does. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Screw it, we've got money to burn. Like, I've got to the point now where we've saved up so much money from just doing stuff. What did that put you up to? 14. That we've actually just got... And because we were only a group of 10 for so long, I just didn't spend the money on anything, so... The fact that we're actually in this position at all is great. I remember when we were, like, struggling to be over, like, 2,000, and I was like, we're going to run out of money any time now, and yet, here we are. I'll do the usual that. Always makes everyone happy. No, I'm not going to lose anything on doing that. There are no contracts here, though, so that's a little bit disappointing. Terum, do you have any? You've got one. Andalon's got three. You've got zero. So I'll go to Terum, and if Terum sucks, I'll go to Andalon. See if I can find a slightly higher contract now for our bigger people. Well, once again, asking you shall receive. There is a four score patrol contract, so I'll do that with some of the other people. Also, we found an engraved wand, which I'll give to Crevice, so there you go. Your power is now going up by, what's that, 114? What was that, 98? Now, do any of you guys, you've got a named staff, so don't need to worry about you. You have got that, you don't actually use that. Trevor, what have you got? I just gave you that. I meant Alistair. Doi, you've got the deadly ceremonial staff of parrying, so I don't need to worry about you either. So, Tanya, you've got that. You've got the ceremonial staff. Okay, so it turns out that Trevor was the one with the weakest, like, weapon. No more, I say. No more. So now, does that mean that we've all got at least pristine weapons, if not masterwork? Okay. Captain's got epic, but it is a named epic. And I don't know how much it's going to be a case of, yes, okay, it's a named weapon, but it's also epic, so it's not masterwork or pristine. Oh, and I suppose my Jack's got the epic bow, not like a masterwork or pristine bow. It also, I guess it depends on, like, where do we draw the line of it's time to upgrade. If not, we don't get, like, a named masterwork or something, you know? I don't know where the line is. I don't know where the line is. Anyway, let's go patrol the roads. I guess we're going back to Wayros. No, no, we're going back to Tier. We've kind of done, like, a loop-de-loop. -loop. So let's go do this. I guess we're staying in the, like, eastern and southern lands for the day. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. We got, we've gotten to see a lot of new people, and that's kind of what the aim of this episode was. But now it's time to see some of the more golden oldies. Although, probably not what I'm going to bring our Trevor into, because he's not really that high-leveled. Whereas everyone else, kind of on the level. All right, golden oldies, you can't get shown up by the new kids on the block. You've got to... Oh, wow. Four reinforcements. Okay, fine. So we've got some Risen Familiars there miles away, so they ain't coming any close anytime soon. I guess we just kill this one which is like super duper close, and then we just work on the rest when they eventually get here. This should be fine. If I go... can I aim at both? Can I stand there and aim at them both? I can! Wait, you just kill them both? Technically, yes. These guys are absolutely miles away. So I wouldn't worry about it. Let's get safeguarding. Let's just play it safe. Guarding. I know these guys are exactly the creme de la creme. This is still a level 4 contract though. So just want to be careful. Whenever I say level 4, I do mean 4 skull. And whenever I say 4, I do mean that as well. Plan Overwatch, I guess. See if anything gets close enough. 
it, it probably won't. Oh, no. There it is. That was worth it alone. Let's just get rid of that. I don't want no skeleton jumping into our backside. That was mostly deflected, so don't worry too much. Now, Holy Barrage... It's not quite in the right position for it, I don't think. No, he's he's standing on an incorrect square for it, which is a shame. I'd have to stand here. Or even, like, here. Just hold your turn. They might, like, reorientate a bit more. Arc Lightning would be great right about now. Oh, well. <laughs> Can I fly through, like, all of these guys? I mean, I can't stop her. She, lo she loves to kill, like, the undead and demons, like... Once she's gone, she's gone. She's on her way. Uncontrollable. Someone get her into, re into gear. God, she's gone nuts. Right, okay, fine. Wait, that was only... Really? That wouldn't... Oh, God, there's Risen General, which is doing a lot more damage there. Hmm. We are getting a little bit surrounded now, so we want to be a little bit careful and cautious here. I guess I should back up Lotar, because he's the one who's probably going to have the bigger problems. God, that's not a lot of damage, actually. Oh, boy. Okay, one down. You're going to move, but you'll wait. You're probably going to get into range, I think. Yes, you will, but Lotar, my guy, my absolute G, will block. Let me get you trapped under ice. We're not interested in whatever you're selling right now. That's going to get soaked up. He will get hit, but he's okay. Don't worry about it just yet. He's still on it. Oh, now that does an area... I keep forgetting that now does, like, an area of attacking. Caitlyn's getting a bit smashed in. Wow. That was a half joke, half serious. Oh, no. She's actually definitely getting smashed in, so hang on. Let me try and assist a little bit. Bloody hell. Alright. Everyone pile on Caitlyn, why don't you? I mean, I guess she does want to... Okay, this is actually going a little bit off the rails. More than I was hoping for. I say hoping for like I wanted it to happen. No, no. Can I not hit this guy? Apparently I can and can't at the same time. It wouldn't kill it. This is a problem in itself now. Yeah. Saw that coming. Saw that coming. She has been, like, completely overloaded by, like, 17 people, though. So there is that. Why does that not hit him? Weird that if I aim... Hmm. That's really weird. Is anyone else injured? Not yet. She's just gonna get... Sure, she's just gonna get hit again, right? Well, I mean, would she just go out and would she want to go out in style? I don't know. What say? What say you? I'd say she's got she got killing demons, honestly. Which sounds a little bonkers, but I feel like that's what she'd want to do. Not that I'm gonna let her do it that much. I kind of do want to. I do want her to live. So hang on. Let's get her back up. Please stop. Please stop going down. I'm begging you. You're now a problem as well. Bloody hell, this is a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Once again, not on my bingo cards for today, but we're here now. The, uh, all the reinforcements really uh, snuck, up on, snuck up on us, didn't they? So if you now want to pull back a bit, That'll, that'll do. That's why I would call pulling back, I guess, so. That one's now on fire. You're going to attack our girl. That's okay. You're unfortunately out, but I think you got frostbit to high hell. Unfortunately back, but honestly, fine. Who's next? You're next. You're blah, blah, blah. Take out those two. Make sure they don't come back. That'd be fantastic. Thank you. You're going to keep going for the man who's immune to everything, so good job, idiot. It's 
I mean, I'm the idiot now. Just for doing that silly affair. You're down as well. Bloody hell. Not what I had planned for today, let me tell you. Let me just... I'm going to Guardian Angel in back over here. I'm just going to play it safe. She's now gone down, though. Jeez Louise, my guys. Get up the both of you. There'll be no slacking on the job, eh? I bloody tell thee. I bloody tell thee. Right then. I guess this is kind of on me. Kind of. I trust them that I trusted that they'd be fine. Turns out they weren't gonna be that fine after all. Right, you're gonna go down anyway, so let's get you down. You're probably gonna go for Lotar and knock him down. But you won't though, will you? You're gonna get back up anytime now, which I guess is fine. Let's get on them heels. <laughs> a sillier fight than I was expecting, just because uh, I wanted to sort of showcase someone's sort of like character and how how they feel about fighting a certain enemy, which just meant her going down against loads of the uh, demons. But hey, still at the end of the day, still survive. So, can you shoot that one from all the way over here? Make sure it doesn't get back up, please. Thank you, lifesaver. Now, frostbite. Oh, you think I'm curing you of your uh, heat, do you? Think again. You will die in that tomb, and we will watch as you die once again. Kind of a weird metal way to go, but hey, there you go. Oh, no, he did go down. I was like, he got up. Oh, he's gone down again. And now he's dead. Permanently. Bloody hell. Weird touch and go day. Rainer leveled up. Albert leveled up. Everyone else is pretty damn close. Uh, took a few injuries, but... To be expected from what I just did then, which was ended up just being like an absolute gangbang down in the south. But it's okay. We're all good. Everything's okay. I think it's okay. I just need to send some people into the infirmary. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Call it for Caitlin and Lotar. I think you got that. Let's get back here. As long as I don't get ambushed again. Been ambushed quite a bit. Cool. Right, those two are in the infirmary. We're kind of getting used to those higher-end contracts now, so now we've done two. Um, level 4 or 4 school contracts. So I think we're sort of getting into the groove a bit more, but we do kind of catch you off guard when you least expect it. For that one, for example, I was a bit like, oh yeah, this isn't too bad. And then that's pretty mel. And then obviously all the enemies just appeared out of nowhere and surrounded one of us, and I was like, ah! I did not expect this. So it's just sort of getting used to that a little bit. Also, once again, I did just kind of throw one character in there to go balls to the walls with it, which, you know, is very powerful, of course, with her character, so that's absolutely fine. Let me get you leveled up in terms of power and mending. I guess I'll start your health going up as well. We are going to be one-off, which is a shame. Can't do anything with that. Articar will be fully leveled up as well. What about Frozen Tomb? Let's go... Ooh. Multi-target and Cold Aura. Let's, you know, let's just go, go for this way. Let's go this way. And then nobody else has leveled up. Octavia, Lotar, Caitlyn. Celeste is almost there. Alistair's almost there. We've got a few people who are, like, on the cusp of leveling up. And we've now got level 14. Um, I suppose rank 4 or 4 store contracts are level 12, aren't they? From what I recall. I always keep forgetting, don't worry. I don't even know why I can't... Can I click this and then go into there? I can. Yeah, level 12. How many people have I ever got in terms of level, then? So if I go to level 14, 13, 12, 12... Okay, so I've got, like, four people, and then Hildegard's basically level 12, and all Mad Jack's basically level 12. Probably better for Mad Jack, so then we've got a Hunter, a Valkyrie, an Ice Binder, a Pyrolancer, and also a Guardian to go into it. But I think I'll try and get, like, Hildegard or Mad Jack leveled up to level 12 at the start of the next episode. And then, we're gonna go do this. We're gonna go do this. At least today, we got to see... What's this, by the way? Range basic attacks get plus one range. Um, well, hang on, hold the phone. Ah! Does that technically count with, um, if I went to, like, this one? I mean, that's also... Let me try... Right, I'm gonna put this into Octavia's staff. 
And I'm going to see if this actually does anything. Because, I mean, technically it's ranged. Technically it's ranged. So I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, so sorry if everyone wanted to see like a lot of progress with like seeing the story. But I just wanted to showcase all the new people for this episode. Just so they actually got some limelight. Because I didn't think it was fair that they weren't getting into any fights. Because we were all taking like higher end contracts. And it's going to happen a lot more down the line anyway. So at least they got a bit of limelight in this episode. I'm probably going to do like on and off between like doing like a four score contract. Like a two score contract. Eventually a three score contract. And everyone gets into like easier. I mean Octavia's almost level seven. And then we're all basically at rank 3 going up, more or less. And then we're going to get into rank 5 eventually. But uh, I'll think about what to do with this upgrade point at the start of next episode. We'll do a contract to try and get Mad Jack or Hildegard leveled up. And then we will go and raid the Black Skull Storehouse next episode. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more there that you will enjoy. I can tell my voice is failing me now because I'm starting to skip loads of words very quickly. And um, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more there that you will enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know next time we're going out with the missionaries in the Iron Oath or the Scrotums in Battle Brothers Cat Wetzel Band, feel free to join the Northern Discord. It is linked in the description or on the channel itself. Come talk to us, join Northerners in the meantime. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.